All is well. 2 Kings 4, 18 through 26, 36 and 37. And when the child was grown, it fell into the day that he went out with his father to the reapers. And when he said unto his father, My head, my head, he said to the lad, Carry him to his mother. And we had taken him and brought him to his mother. He sat her on his knees until noon, and he died. And when she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God, and shut the door upon him, and went out. And when she carried him to her husband, she said, Send me, I pray, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Well, for when I go to him, is it neither the new moon nor the Sabbath? And she said, It shall be well. Then she saddled an ass and said to her servant, Drive and go forth. Slack not thy riding for me and set my business. So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass, when the man of God saw her from the fall, that he said to Gehazi his servant, Behold, yonder is the Shudamite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is all well with thee? Is all well with thy husband? Is all well with the child? And she answered, It is well. And he called Gehazi and said, Call the Shunammite. So he called her, and when she was to come unto him, he said, Take thy son. Then she went in and fell on his feet and bowed herself to the ground and took up her son and went out. The Shunammite woman did not get discouraged in her situation. She believed in the relationship that the prophet Elijah had with God and knew that all she had to do is believe. The Shumanite woman, despite can the corpse of her son, responded with all is well. She understood that her faith was living, therefore her son had a chance to live also. You have a all is well. Activate your faith. Without fail, the man of God went to work on behalf knowing that her faith lived for them both. Ultimately, God worked through Elijah and brought her son back to life and the faith of his mother saved him. Is your faith dead and needs to be awakened? Are there people depending on your faith to live? Are you struggling with depending on God for believing the impossible? Then say this prayer. Lord, help me believe you for the impossible, allowing me to exercise my faith in all situations. Take any fear and doubt from my thoughts so that I can have the mind of Christ. Increase my faith. In Jesus' name, amen.